drink? Well, I mean, considering your body is majorly 70%, 75%, I think it's 72 to 75% made of water. So your body is asking, when it's thirsty, the thirst center is going off in your mind. It's asking for only one thing and one thing only, water. Now, if you decide, hey, you know what? I'm thirsty. I'm going to drink a Sprite. Your body doesn't want that Sprite. Not at all. So the water content in Sprite is not going to quench your thirst. Okay? So then you're, you're drinking something that's acidic already. So now you're damaging your teeth. You're not even listening to your body. So that's not going to work out well, right? Or you're like, hey, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm thirsty. I'm going to drink um, a Monster. Great. Well, you know, we already know that's very acidic. But the other thing about Monster, it's got a ton of caffeine. And what is caffeine? Well, it's a neurotransmitter. It's also a diuretic. It makes you pee more. So now, originally your body's like, I want water. You drink a beverage, but actually you're losing more water through your, you know, peeing it out. So now you're even more dehydrated. Now you have less saliva to buffer out that solution. You're just chasing your tail. So you have to think about what does my body require? It requires water. But yeah, you can drink a Red Bull. Yeah, you can. I'm not saying don't do it. But you have to think about the frequency. How often is that going to be in my mouth? How long is it be in my mouth? If I'm drinking a Red Bull a day, well, obviously you need to work on what's going on in your life when you're so tired that you need a Red Bull. And if you're going to drink that much caffeine, you're going to be dehydrated. The number one reason for daytime fatigue is dehydration. So you're actually compounding your problem by choosing that as a solution. That's not a solution. So dietary choices are huge when it comes to the health of your body, but also you know how successful you can be in other terms. If you're a sports athlete, you're not drinking a lot of Red Bull because that's going to dehydrate you. They don't; those guys don't function on that level. They drink a lot of water. They're very healthy. To operate at that level, you have to make very good decisions for your body. Your body is you know your vehicle, how you get around. So choose wisely because these companies they don't care about you they they're not, they don't care about your health they just figure you're smart enough to make decisions for your own the problem is our advertising machine um in our country in general hasn't done a really good job in educating our population so our fda is like yeah go for it drink something that's pretty close to battery acid we'll make it blue and little kids will drink it i mean yeah i you know maybe the parents should know better but i don't think that's it i mean everyone doesn't know things and it's 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 partly my job to educate people on the dangers that currently exist out there um so you know if you have any questions of, of course ask me but you know think about what your body really needs and then to make this decision from there and i guarantee you you make really good dietary decisions from that day on and that concurrently after that you will feel better your body will be healthier you will have less problems you'll be a happier person. So that is my overall goal is everyone to be happy and healthy and, you know, successful.